being in the gym was just somewhere to be way better than being in the house, way better than being on the streets. I first met Damon in third grade. Um, originally, I'm from Hillside, along with him and Chris. Uh, we went to the same elementary school, Calvin Coolidge. I got raised by my mother, but my father was always there. Always there for big time support for me, him, anybody else who was involved in, you know, say our family or extended family. I feel like that's what helped me be a good teammate, be a good brother, be a good son. I'm a parent that coaches the kids too, so it was a lot of yelling on my part most times, you know. And, but yeah, they, they worked hard and they got better quick. They played basketball all day when I was young, but middle school was probably when I knew that it, it really hit me, like this is the game that I want to play for the rest of my life. This is the stuff that we envisioned growing up as kids, like one day we'll be able to play in Division One basketball and, and, and shine at this level. It's a surprise to everybody else because everybody else doubted him, but never was there a doubt in my mind or his mind that he could do what he's doing now. But I didn't imagine going to college with him and us three being on the same college team. UC was a close-knit community as well, and I still go back and I still feel a lot of the love that I had once when I was there. Despite tremendous success at Union Catholic High School, Lynn found few college suitors. There was, there was a lot of schools that looked at him and went to watch him play, but for one reason or another left the gym and go, well, yeah, he's pretty good, but... I noticed that I was the only one that was still keeping tabs on DeMond. No other schools in the country were, were offering me, and they offered me a full scholarship. He went on to have uh, a great senior year, led the state in scoring, led the state in three-point shooting. You know, every game I'd go to, I'd be, I'd be hoping not to see any other college coaches there. So a lot of guys made mistakes, and people walked up to me in, in the years after that, and it's like, yeah, you know, we, we really made a mistake. I said, yeah, you made a mistake, but thank you, I appreciate it. Lynn joined an NJIT program that had recently snapped a 51-game losing streak and was the nation's only Division I independent, with no automatic qualifier to the NCAA tournament. From the very beginning, Lynn was the focus. You know, DeMond has, from his freshman year, from day one, has been every team's game plan is to stop him. Takes the three, step back three-pointer up, down! It's down! It's down! He's one of the best tough shooters that I've, I've, I've coached, um, meaning he, he makes and takes tough shots. Here is Lin Long Trey, bullseye! By far his greatest attribute is his competitiveness. You could tell he had that driven um, factor that successful people have. Like I didn't want to be second. Third, I wanted to be the best in everything that I did. The nation's leading three-point shooter, 34 points. He always had that crazy range. Definitely could always shoot the ball from, from deep. Oh, I just like three points better than two. Shoots the three and knocks it down. People used to come up to me and say, man, you let that kid shoot all the, he takes some crazy shots. I always be like, no, that's, that's with how we play. That's how good he is, and that's how he needs to do those things in order for the rest of our guys to be able to play their roles the way they play. But now, you know, I've been with him so long, it's kind of like, eh, well, that's what DeMond does. And it's not, it's still amazing, but it's kind of like, you know, after you've seen it so many times, it's like, yeah, it's part of the game with him. When he gets like that, you know, just let him go. We, tell, we actually tell him, like, yo, it's, you know, come on, bro, it's that time. It's time, it's that time for you to take this game over. You know what I'm saying? Get us over the top. A three ball, good! Agent number five does it again when the game is on the line. He's never let us down. He just has such a big heart. Shot clocker, game clock down to four behind the back. The three, got it! DeMond Lynn is a magician! He's the best player I've ever coached. A lot of the big shots, I kind of expect him to make. When the lights are on, I know that he's ready for that moment. NJIT in today to take on the 6-1 and one and 17th ranked Michigan Wolverines. Before the Michigan game, I actually told everybody, like, yo, we're going to beat them. There's their Mr. Three, and he does it again. Damon Lynn. When he gets going, watch out. Three ball. Ooh. And he did it again. Damon Lynn. That's five of them for number five. I just pointed at the back of my shirt like that. That's what we mean right there. I was like, man, we're winning this game. Wow. Damon Lynn again. And David has popped Goliath here in Ann Arbor. 
And then number five is just sensation. We really wanted to do that. It's a big difference in the game. That was such a national game. I mean, it really put us on the map in so many different ways. So when the game ended, we got back. The kids, everybody was excited. The whole campus, it really brought the campus together. It's memories that you bring with you and you'll have with you for the rest of your life. We were able to keep it going and when we got that CIT bid, um, the place, it was like, it was better than the NCAA tournament. It really was. For this, for NGIT at that time, it was better than playing the NCAA tournament. And then coming in the gym and not having a seat, it was like, wow, man, you know, it, it was, it was huge. Clock game, clock differential is seven. Neither team has fouls to give, though the Highlanders are only in the single bonus. 28 seconds to go, here is Lynn with the basketball, guarded by Keene. Lynn into the lane, kicks out for Howard, open from the sideline for three. Goal, look at that wall! You've got to be kidding me! And the fans store in the corner with another incredible victory! We drew up the play, I got the ball to DeMond to take the shot. You know, but that's the type of kid he is. He's such a selfless kid and he's such a winner. I feel like it was a challenge and I feel like we stepped up to it. Cleveland State was one of three wins in the tournament, elevating NJIT to the CIT semifinals and 21 wins. Lynn's junior year was just as impressive. He had 32 points in an upset win at St. John's. Close. They left him it was NJIT's first year in the Atlantic Sun Conference, and DeMond made first team all league, leading the Highlanders to a second place finish. The season ended with 20 wins and another CIT semifinal appearance. DeMond Lynn finished his NJIT career as the school's all time leading scorer, the active leading scorer in the country, and fifth on the NCAA's all time three point list. For an under-recruited 5'11 guard, Lynn's career accomplishments were staggering. Dribble finds Lynn, tries a three again, same spot, same result. He got it to go. And now he has passed up Curry. He is amped up. His last full game was one of his best. 33 points. In the next game versus Florida Gulf Coast, the unthinkable occurred. My other sons and my wife, we were all watching the game because that's what we do. If we're not there, we're watching. And it was like, that was probably the most helpless feeling I ever had. And I, I saw him hobbling to the bench. And then when it panned back and forth again, I saw the trainers carrying him to the table. And I immediately asked my other son, I said, are they carrying your brother? And he's like, it looks like it. And he called maybe two minutes after that. He called from the trainer's phone and said, Dad, I tore my Achilles. I don't think it was nothing, anything in particular that I did or, or missed up or anything. I just went to push off and it, it just happened. The Achilles tendon tear ended Lynn's college career and his dreams of winning the Atlantic Sun and competing in the NCAA tournament. I definitely still want to play basketball and uh, that dream's not going out the window anytime soon. It's a hard rehab, but I definitely think it's something that you can recover from. It's, it's going to take him a little while to get back to feeling normal. In terms of uh, the will to do whatever he can to make himself better. He's up there with the best that we have. I think I'm on record for saying I would never count that little guy out. When I saw him the next day, I told him, you've done everything you could do at NJIT. This is, that's just an injury that stops college. This is not over. It's far from over. There's it's a lot more story to be written. You just realize what an outstanding individual he is. And what an amazing commitment he made to this school. He's easily one of our all-time greats, if not the greatest player we've had here. The Wellness and Event Center, it will open this summer of uh, 2017, and a lot of it is on the shoulders of that team led by DeMond Lynn. It's gonna be a long time before somebody could wear number five around here, I think, and, f and feel comfortable in that number. I think number five may, may need to get retired, I don't know. I don't want people to think that I'm bigger than NJIT, and that's not, that's not the case at all. I came here, like I said, and got the great opportunity, but it's way bigger than me. I'm just somebody that came through in, in history and put my stamp on it.